Hey, welcome back to The Lonely Dragon. I'm Edwin Perez. I'm Joanna Gaskell. And we are back with Daily Nelson. Me again. We're not uh, even yeah. sure you left, really. I, you guys aren't sitting in the same no, spot. No, it's true. So. It's true. Okay, so you, you actually got a different project to talk <laughs> about this time. If this one airs first, though, then no one knows what we're talking about. It's true. <laughs> Yes, Whoops. I'm also on another Indiegogo campaign because I'm just very good at being a panhandler for uh, artistic integrity, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, it's one that um, Ryan and Derek are doing that we're doing called Baronies. Sorry, Ryan who and Derek who? Ryan Pierce and okay. Derek Green. Okay, Ooh. okay. So, saying everyone's name correctly, I'm borderline illiterate. <laughs> That's why I didn't know my lines for that one either. That's my excuse. <laughs> but yeah, this one basically it was they were commissioned to create this story about um, what it's like to be a brony and a fan of Milo Pony Tales. Or, sorry, Milo Pony's Friendship is Magic, the new one. Okay. Not the retro old school pony fans. And it was essentially what it's like to have identity crisis issues with that. And we actually played it at Brony Can, which is the Canadian brony convention oh, yeah. in Vancouver. So I had to go and sit there with these people who... I didn't know too much about their series, but I had to, you know, just embrace the idea of, you know championing it for them and making it something they would something they like and trying to make this something they would like and I could understand completely like personally I wasn't hugely into that show but I've I do love a lot of cartoons so I understand the stigma that comes sometimes with liking cartoons well, and it's that a was fandom, about, right you know? I mean yeah. any fandom is sort of the same on some level anything that makes you like it and you appreciate people judge you for it. it's like how dare you find happiness in something I'm like <laughs> yeah. well oh, I'm sorry for I sure. guess I'll be self-conscious that I'm happy and I like things <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it it was one of those where they I mean, they played a documentary too, where there is some stigma and some people get sassed and razzed for liking it. Like, there's some angry fathers like, why does my boy watch that? Wow. But we were never we were never commenting on them or making fun of them. It was kind of like, no, happily embrace what it is. So in the show, I play a brony who basically has to come out to his girlfriend when she finds me laughing and watching a. Uh, I think it was a Game of Thrones My Little Pony mashup video. So I was watching that. She's like, what are you watching? And I was like, uh, nothing. It's, oh. And kind of went from there and unfolded to me, finally being proud and liking it. And their plan is to go on and have more and just explore basically the origins of fandom and where he's going with that. So that one's still an active campaign, I believe. All right, I believe cool. we're at the halfway mark. So we're still, uh, okay, so we've still got still the old hat out and yeah, for sure. humbly ask for any assistance if anyone's interested in watching us. Well, you know, I've been to a lot of cons over the past couple of years and the brony I fandom thing. I don't know. I've only seen a couple of awards over yeah. there on the table. <laughs> no, but the, the, the brony fans, though, are kind of kind of new. Like, I hadn't yeah. noticed them before. And, and it's really interesting how much it's sprung up over the past couple yeah, of years. Like, there's been them, more and everywhere. more. Yeah, Every for sure. con, for sure. Oh, yeah. It was a, it was a sea of, like, uh, painted facial hair. A lot of people did that just for fun. Like, <laughs> nice. their favorite character colors they put into their beards. And just mostly the male fans. It was the male fans doing that. Right. But, yeah. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah. You never know. No yeah. Makes sense. And then it was, like, ponytails for the ladies. <laughs> right. Ponytails was on the male fans, too. But people were just coloring it. And they just proudly had their own thing. And so... I guess they're coming up in other cons too now too. Where yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are Comic Con photos of some people. Yep. Going mm -hmm. as their favorite characters. Yeah, so. yeah, we were Comic Con. I don't know. I think I saw a couple of Brony fans. There are a few. You can spot it. them. You yeah. can just see the rainbow colors. Yep. You know, yeah. up in the distance. <laughs> it's slowly growing from its own microcosm into microconzin into like the rest of the cons. Okay. We'll but, go with that word. We'll go with that word. <laughs> we will. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for having me back again. If you want to trade seats, I'll talk Thank about you. four other things that I'm just begging You're, for money okay. for because that's what I do. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, okay. I hope it does really well. So uh, Thank you. Yeah, and go check it out, everybody out there. Yeah. Brony fans or no, go check out this Indiegogo. Take a look. And thank you for being here. Thank you for having me.